Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install PyCharm IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. So there can be many different ways using which you can install PyCharm. I'm going to show you the way which I use mostly to install PyCharm. So let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you can open your favorite browser and search for PyCharm. And the first link which will appear here will be from jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. And when you click on this link, you will uh, see the home page for PyCharm IDE. Now here you can see the download button. So I'm going to click on the download button and you can see PyCharm comes in two different flavors. One is PyCharm Professional, which is for the professional use and it's the paid version. The other is the PyCharm Community Edition, which is this one and it's a an free and open source edition and this is the one we are going to install right now at the time of making this video you can see PyCharm version 2024.1.2 is the latest version but we are not going to press the download button here under the community edition we are going to use a slightly different way of installing PyCharm so what I generally do is I generally use Snap to install PyCharm on my Ubuntu operating system. So Snap is a package manager which is created by Canonical which is the creator of Ubuntu also. And it also provides the way to install PyCharm using the Snap. So for that you can just search for Snap PyCharm and you can see this link which says snapcraft.io forward slash pycharm community and then when you click on this link you will be able to see how you can install the pycharm community edition using the snap package manager you can also open your terminal so click on the show apps icon and then click on terminal here and here you can write snap find and then space in double quotes just write pycharm here and then press enter and it's going to show you what are the versions of pycharm which are available using this snap package manager so as you can see this version is available right now for the community edition and this is 2024.1.3 and it's the same version which is available on the official website so it's pretty up-to-date version right so to install PyCharm using snap package manager as I mentioned you need to use this command which is sudo snap install PyCharm hyphen community space hyphen hyphen classic so I'm going to copy this uh, command and then paste it into my terminal and then press enter and give my Ubuntu's password which I use to log into my Ubuntu operating system and it's going to start the process to install the PyCharm. You can see this progress bar also. So at this point, it's around 30%. So when it reaches to the 100% mark, it's going to start the installation and then it will be finished. So now the PyCharm community edition is installed on my Ubuntu operating system. So I can just minimize my terminal. And now I can go to the show apps uh, section. And here I can see this PyCharm community icon. You can also search for PyCharm here and you will see the result. So I'm going to open PyCharm now. So now I can see PyCharm IDE has been started. So here I can create a new project. I can also customize the settings of PyCharm. For example, if I want to use the themes uh, from here, you can see the light theme is available or the light with light header theme is available and the darkula theme is also available. So for now, I'm going to just go with the darkula theme, but you are free to uh, use any other theme. You can also change the IDE font size and other settings from here. Okay. So let's create a very simple Python project to check whether everything is working fine or not. Now, you might already know that when you uh, install Ubuntu operating system, it already comes with the version of Python. So let's check which version of Python uh, we have. 
So just open your terminal and you can always run this command, which is Python three space hyphen hyphen version here. And you can see I have Python 3.12.3 at the time of making this video, right? So you don't need to install Python separately. It already comes with your Ubuntu operating system. So I'm going to go to the project section and then click on new project from here. And then you can give the name to your project and your project will be saved at this location, which is your home folder. And then in your home folder, you have your username and then there will be this uh, PyCharm project folder, which is created and all your project will be created inside that folder. So here I'm going to leave everything as default in the interpreter type. I'm going to select project VN, which is the virtual env. And also you can see uh, Python version. The default version is selected, which is the version I have on my Ubuntu operating system. So I'm going to click on create here, which is going to create my uh, Python project. So now my project is created and here I have few different files. So because I have selected the virtual env option, you can see this directory, which is created, which is called virtual env here. And inside this so virtual env, I have bin folder and I have live folder, right? I also have the external library uh, section here. So now let's create a very simple Python file inside this project. So I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to uh, click on new and then click on Python file here. And I'm going to name my file as test uh, and the extension will be automatically created if you select the Python file option here. So I'm going to select the Python file option and it's going to create this test.py uh, file here. So here I can write, for example, print and in the parenthesis, I can print the hello world. So I'm going to write hello world here. So once you have your code in the Python script, you can run your uh, script by right clicking on that and then click on run test here. So I'm going to click on run test and it's going to run my script and give me the output here, right? You can also click on this run uh, button, which is also going to give you the same output. If you want to see more options in PyCharm IDE, you can uh, click on this hamburger icon and you will see more options uh, for debugging your uh, script or uh, you can see other options are also available related to your PyCharm IDE. So now we have successfully uh, ran our first Python script using PyCharm IDE. From now on, you can start using PyCharm IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. One extra tip here is you can also pin the PyCharm IDE to your dash. So I'm going to right click here and then click on pin to dash here. So from the next time when I uh, exit from my PyCharm IDE, I can reopen the PyCharm from this dash bar itself. So I'm going to just click on PyCharm and then I will be able to open PyCharm IDE from here itself. So this is how you can install PyCharm IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.